Welcome to the fourth episode in Blender beginner series. We are creating a cute rocket and this is where we left off in a previous one. And now let's add even more details. So let's go down here and let's add a few holes on these parts right here. So in a previous one, we made a copy of these elements. Now I will delete them, just press delete and that's it because we will add a details here and then make a copy. Also, if I want to make this element bigger by S and for example, Z, yeah, I'm scaling everything because it's parent to this one. So we can either uh, go and uh, break link between those objects or we can go to edit mode, select everything with A and then if we want to scale it, scale on Z, for example, I want to move it up and maybe I want to put it here or maybe even more here. Maybe I change my mind. Maybe I want something like like this S to scale it on Z, press S and Z. And this is it. And if I go back, maybe this looks a little bit more appealing to to me. So maybe I can I can leave it like that. Okay, now let's go and create a new mesh. So shift A and this time we'll go with a cylinder. Perfect. It's right here where it should be. It has 32 vertices, one meter radius, depth two meters and so on and so forth. So basically what I like to do, I will leave it like that. I will press R and rotate it on X axis by 90 degrees. So R, X and type 90. Press enter and this is what we have. I will press one to go to the front view. You already are familiar with that. Press G and I will move it here. Then I will press S to scale it like that. Zoom it a little bit more going somewhere here. Perfect. Let's see from the top view. Yeah, the what is important is that this cylinder is going for, uh, through the object. So this is important. You will see why. So let's go back to the front view. Okay. And uh, now I will make it a little bit smaller S. Okay. And then I will go into the edit mode. And this time, while everything is selected, I will press Shift D to make a copy of it, move it here and press S to scale it like that. So this is it. Why I'm doing this? Well, because I want to have this as the same object. So now we can do that. Remember in a previous episode that I told you not to create the mesh into this if you are in edit mode, but now we can do it. And we have this as one object. Perfect. So while <clears throat> this is uh, selected, we want to create a hole to this material right here to this object right there. So how to do that? Well, first, we need something that is called a Boolean tool. And you have it in Blender, you just need to check it, because it's not checked. So go to edit preferences, go to add ons. And here search for Boolean B -O, B -O, o here, it's bool tool, you just need to press it click it however you want. So like that, you can expand it and see what it's all about. But this is how it is. Go here and press save preference. Perfect. Close this. And now press and hold shift and select this one too. Okay, and all you need to do now is to click control and minus. And this is it we have a hole. So remember, if you have something like this and press control minus and get this, that means that the order of selection is not good. So select the object object that you want to make a hole with and then select the object then where you want to create holes and then control minus and voila, that's it. Okay, so let's see if we like this. I really like it because there are a little bit more details here. If you select this object and press G to move it, we can see we can move it like this and make like a cheese. Why not? This is also cool, but I want to put it here. Okay, now I will go to the modifiers because this has a bool tool modifier and I want to apply this. And in order to apply, you need to apply from the top to bottom because modifiers works from top to bottom. And if you apply this first, it will make a mess because subdivision is now active. So you want to apply subdivision first, then you can apply this and now you can delete this because we don't need it anymore. And this is it really cool. See how simple and easy it is. 
Okay, now that you know how to add the holes in the objects with the boolean tool, with the bool tool, now it's time to go to the next episode where we will add the materials to the rocket and make it even more beautiful.